Hi, my name is Brian Kane, and I am a small business solutions advisor with the Microsoft Connections team. Today, I'm excited to announce that we are going to be doing a webcast based on a request made from one of the attendees to one of our free live events. Stephen from Memphis, Tennessee writes, Brian, can you please show me more about the knowledge base application template within Windows SharePoint services? And the answer to you, Stephen, is absolutely. So Stephen, the first thing we're going to do is go to our SharePoint site. In this demonstration environment, we're currently within Litware Inc. site. Then, we're going to go to Site Action, and then click on Create Site. We're going to title our site Knowledge Base. And to select the Knowledge Base application templates, first select the Application Templates tab and then choose Knowledge Base. And then we'll click Create. The Knowledge Base application template allows organizations to collect, organize, and share information contained in files and employees' minds in a familiar SharePoint site. Keywords, links, search, and alert help enable information workers to quickly find and keep up to date on the latest developments across the organization. And this information optimization is done by combining powerful features found within document library and wikis. In today's demonstration, our main character will be a quality assurance manager, and he is going to create a knowledge base to ensure that the correct steps are followed every time a new software product is tested. This entails following proper procedures and filling out reports. By doing so, the quality assurance manager is going to be able to ensure testers know how to do their job and have access to the appropriate resources allowing the team to focus on the quality of the product rather than the testing process itself. Now that we've created our knowledge base site, the first thing that the quality assurance manager will want to do is create some keywords to ensure that the documents we create are found as quickly as possible. We're going to cl click on create a keyword on the left hand side of the page. The first keyword we'll enter will be bugs. Then we'll click new again and add in reporting. Now that we have three keywords in place, let's associate them with an article. On the left hand side, click on write an article. Let's go ahead and title this new article, Approved Testing Steps. Then, let's associate the article with each of the three keywords we just created, bugs, reporting, and tracking. Finally, all we have to do is enter in the content of the post. And then once complete, we'll click Create. Now, when we go back to the Knowledge Base homepage, you can see the article we just created is now present. Let's say that a test manager sees this Knowledge Base article, reads it, and then decides to write an article himself associated with it. Let's go ahead and do that for him. Once again, we'll click on Write an Article. The title of the article the test manager wants to put out is Bug Tracking System. In this case, we're only going to associate this with the keywords bug and tracking. Then, we'll enter in the article. 
And finally, one more step. We're going to associate this new article with the previous one, Approved Testing Steps. And then we'll click Create. As other testing managers notice these articles, they begin to become aware of information they have that they would like to share. For example, one of the testing managers, Larry, would like to upload a presentation he created on the bug tracking system. So he's going to go to the Knowledge Base homepage, click on Upload, and then click on Upload Document. Then he'll select his document from Browse. Larry has now located the document and he's ready to insert it. Now he's going to associate this document with bugs and tracking and then associate with each of the three articles already created. That concludes today's presentation. We've gone in and shown just how powerful a solution is the knowledge base application template. This webcast was created because one of the attendees to one of our free live events asked me if I'd do a webcast. Once again, Connections is designed to be a resource to you, the small business owner. So please, Go to Microsoft.com slash connections. There you'll find a number of tools and resources specifically to make your life easier. For example, there's great webcasts just like this one, audio casts, blogs, resources, and information about free live events in your area. And if you have any questions about this webcast or you'd like me to do one for you, please email me. My email address is brian period. K-A-N-E at Microsoft.com. Thank you.